It's time to talk beef trade with our livestock marketing specialist, Dr. Daryl Peel. So Daryl, what's happening with beef exports in 2022? You know, we have data now for the first quarter of the year. So uh, at this point, uh, beef exports in quantity terms is up a little bit over 6%. Remember that last year, 2021, we set a new record on beef exports, so we're ahead of that pace so far uh, this year. And of course, value continues to go up as well. So we've had a lot go on in the past couple of years, a pandemic and just a drought right now. So how have beef exports changed in recent years? Well, you know, for many years, uh, Japan was the biggest U.S. beef market. Uh, in recent years, South Korea has been closing that gap. And so far, actually, in 2022, South Korea is our biggest beef export market, first three months of the year. Japan is number two. And then, uh, you know, the big change in the last couple of years has been the, the combined China-Hong Kong market. It's been growing rapidly, and it's number three in closing the gap. Uh, only, a, you know, as a share of our beef exports, only a couple of percentage points behind Japan at this point. So what about beef imports? Beef imports in the early part of the year are up sharply, uh, up over 41% so far this year. Uh, it's up really from most of our major suppliers, uh, but the big increase has been from Brazil. And so uh, that's been the biggest change, but we're getting a little bit more from Australia, uh, a little more from Mexico, uh, a little more from Canada as well. Uh, New Zealand is about equal to last year. So wh why has there been such a big change with beef imports with Brazil? You know, there's several things going on with Brazil. One is that uh, they have, they do have additional access now. So we expect some increase in, in imports from Brazil because they can now bring fresh product to the U.S. Uh, they were restricted to only cooked product uh, for several years prior to that. However, I don't think the current pace will probably continue uh, at this point, uh, you know, Brazil, uh, there's, a, there's been some movement. They, they were kind of knocked out of the China market, which was their biggest market for uh, late last year. So I think they probably had some product that was looking for a home, if you will. Uh, and the other thing is, of course, the U.S. has uh, tariff rate quotas that, that kick in now. Uh, Brazil has filled the open market quota uh, already so far this year, so it'll be more expensive to bring that product up here for the remainder of the year. I expect that it will temper those imports as we go forward. You know, has, has Russia's war with Ukraine impacted beef exports or imports at all in regards to, you know, in, with, with our market here in the U.S.? You know, on a global basis, I really haven't seen a lot of impact. Uh, Russia was a relatively small importer of beef in recent years. Uh, it's probably affected whoever was supplying that before a little bit. But in general, we haven't seen a lot of impacts. The U.S. hasn't exported any beef to, to Russia in a decade. Um, and so we, we've seen no direct impacts. And really, I don't see a lot of impacts in general in, uh, in the global beef trade as a result of there's a lot of other impacts, but, but maybe not so much uh, in terms of beef trade with the war in Ukraine. Yeah, before we let you go, uh, pasture conditions. You can see right now it's pretty muddy out here. We got some rain in some parts of the state, got a lot of rain. Some parts of the state didn't really get any or get that much. So it, was it too far past, like in regards to drought for uh, pasture conditions, or is there still some wiggle room in there where it can really help producers? You know, it was kind of right at the 11th hour, but we I think it's in time to do some good. Um, you know, it's still early May here, so uh, the moisture that we got in central and eastern Oklahoma will do a lot to bring on pasture and hay production here. Uh, you know, a little bit later than we would like, but, it, but it'll definitely help. And even out west, it's still dry. That We're not out of the drought there, but a little bit of moisture there will give them a little bit of uh, at least some initial growth. And that may provide some very important flexibility for those producers, even if they still face drought conditions in the not too distant future. All righty, thanks, Daryl. Dr. Daryl Peel, Livestock Marketing Specialist here at Oklahoma State University.